Joe Biden continues to lie while inflation punishes Americans. President Joe Biden is currently on a victory tour in support of his alleged economic achievements, but the data keeps proving that his claims about Bidenomics are untrue. He proclaimed to a crowd on Tuesday in Milwaukee at a stop on his re-election campaign trip, it's working. No, it isn't. To begin with, compared to two years ago, the average American spends $709 more per month on necessities like food. That's a startling $8,508 increase annually. Indeed, inflation since Biden took office totals 15%. Focus on daily essentials, like food, power bills, mortgages, and prices are up almost 25%. Have wages and salaries kept pace? That's a big no, they've risen less than inflation in all but two of the past 22 months. Blame Biden's drunken sailor spending, which sent an already hot economy into an inflation conflagration after he and his enablers dismissed and denied growing concerns, including from liberal economists, that Democrats' American Recovery Act risked spiraling price hikes. Yet for all the damage done, Team Biden can't stop lying about it. Last week, for example, the White House bragged that the Inflation Reduction Act, the greatest misnomer in legislative history, is already having a significant impact on American workers and families. Yet, in the same week, Biden admitted the IRA was actually all about green subsidies, and he's still aiming for inflation-feeding giveaways with his continuing effort to cancel billions in student debt, which is also a direct wealth transfer from the less affluent and less educated to the more affluent and more educated. Biden's lies on the economy are nothing new. Witness his February claim that, we created more new jobs in two years than any president did in their entire term. No, those were jobs lost to COVID policy overreactions that came back during the long and tepid employment recovery he oversaw. Seems the overall Biden strategy here just to lie and lie and lie as liberal journos seal clap and figure everyday voters will buy it. Huge mistake, every trip to buy milk or fill the tank proves what a disaster Bidenomics has been. Then again, Joe and his advisors don't see that because they all have little people to do the shopping for them.